Mom, have you ever been here before? No, this place is a rental pumpkin. It was just for the party. Oh, do you know what happened? No, that's what we are here to find out. But we have to be very careful. Do you remember our rules for when we go out? Yes, I become invisible and don't touch anything. That's a big girl attitude. You can walk around as long as you don't stray too far. And if there's any sign of trouble, I wait for you outside? That's it. We make a great team, Sweet Fangs. The police are here. Shit. That's a bad sign. Remember what we said. No wandering off. Yes, Mom. I'm a big girl. <sighs> okay, then. Where are you, Richard? I was still going to review for college late. Yeah. I've never seen anything like it, have you? I've had to assume a few old bodies over the years, but I never thought I'd stumble across a cemetery full of them in an apartment downtown. Stop! You can't come through here! Hi, uh, I live in the building, and I was told to come give a statement. You need to go down to the precinct to give your statement, ma'am. Only law enforcement is allowed here. Oh, I hadn't understood that. Thank you. Have a pleasant evening. There's no way I'm gonna get access if I'm not one of them. You shouldn't be out, and especially not here. Move along, please. This isn't rocket science. Keep it simple. I'll update the guys. You're taking over the investigation, and we'll put all the stabbing victims in crates and send them out to the balcony. Exactly. Do you have any idea what happened? It's got to be some kind of cult, right? At the moment, we're more inclined to think it's a terrorist right organization. Now. Again? The fuckers. Don't worry, we're used to it. We'll get them. Body bags. What could that mean? Body bags. What could that mean? Casings everywhere. All of them large caliber. We could be helping it instead of being stuck here. It's taking forever. I just need to find a secluded spot. Richard, he sensed me. He's here, but something's wrong. Good evening, officer. Uh, gentlemen. All these bodies... What the hell happened? Oh, There's so 
so much blood. I sense. I sense. I sense you're losing control. It's all this blood. I need to focus. Mom, are you? Are you feeling all right? Yes. Don't worry about me, Pumpkin. Mom, we please. I. I'm going to be thick. All this blood, it feels so strong. Oh, crap. She feels as bad as I do. I want to leave, Mom. I'm scared. it either sugar fangs but your mother has a job to do you understand if you're scared too then why don't we just leave because hazel asked me to do this i like hazel so you let me come with you but there are too many people here and they're all torn and broken we have no choice can't you feel all that blood everywhere are we going to be hungry like this the whole time We'll figure something out. Say, I was thinking we haven't played a game together in ages. I know. I miss our games. Why don't you think up a riddle for Mom to solve? I... Okay. Hunger like that? Not now. Not here. A vessel with more holes in him than a junkie. We're off to a good start. Somebody spilled wine here. guys listen up the feds are taking over the investigation so don't touch a thing put all the stiffs with stakes through their hearts out on the balcony they'll take care of them. all right go you know what you have to do shit uh, I have to find Richard and fast all said and done it's probably better that the feds are handling this case they have more resources to solve it yeah and the means to analyze everything we've already taken out to them on the balcony. Sorry, but I'm busy. There's a note. I wonder what surprise Jara had in store for him. Pamiko's business card. Austin's Queen of Ropes. Traces of cherry flavored lip gloss. Hmm. 
Donors were killed here. And not just one. So, Nothing. a reinforced container a and some office supplies. that locks from no, the outside. Anywhere? No. Not commonly used to store mortal bodies. bodies. But it sure smells like death in here. Yeah, makes our morgue smell like a flower shop. You get a look at what they took out to the balcony? No, everything is boxed up. Even the chief has no idea what they're up to. Why don't you ask the captain? Hey, uh, Central Dispatch sent me over to help. Captain Paulson. But you can call me Chief. Sure thing, Chief. Right. You've heard the orders? <laughs> I... Everything we find at the scene needs to be shown to the feds. Got it, Chief. And the balcony is off limits. But why can't we go outside? The feds got here first. It's their rodeo. They secured that area to store whatever they decide to collect. Shouldn't they be collecting all the evidence if they're taking over the case? Yeah, well, normally. But no one's following standard procedure here. They're cataloging the bodies already. The ones in the lobby are on their way to our morgue, while the rest are stored with their gear on the balcony. Looks like I'm gonna need to take a little peek. Oh, all right. So, uh, what do we know so far? Lots of Vicks. It has all the makings of a drug deal gone bad. He's not buying it. But you have your doubts? I do. There's too many things that don't add up. Like what, Chief? Bodies in accelerated decomposition. Even some skeletal remains. Shit. Kindred were destroyed. My hunch is that the feds are investigating a cult. But it's none of our business. But you don't seem too thrilled about that? Am I wrong? Is it so obvious, officer? It's the first time in my entire career and 30 years is a long time that I feel like we're babysitting a crime scene. Babysitting? We've been ordered to secure the premises, lend our experts, and not ask any questions. Thanks for walking me through it, Chief. You report it to them if you find anything suspicious, okay? I don't need their kind of trouble. me over there. All right.
trying to be good. How am I doing? You're being wonderfully good. Burn marks. Incendiary bullets. Really? Someone's hunting vampires. Looks like it was made by a shotgun blast. And we're not talking 12 gauge, but something bigger. Someone wanted to make sure there would be no survivors. Jeez. Talk about overkill. Judging by what's left, that used to be a vessel. Torn to shreds by bullets. Traces of cocaine. I guess it was that kind of party. There's so much evidence to collect. Dust. No. It smells like burnt leather. Ashes. LR3. There was a container here earlier. Unbelievable how much stuff there's still up. Sorry, only forensics can go in there. Wait, wait. What's going on? on? I can sense your hunger. What's going on? Shit! It's starting again. Mom, are you okay? Do you feel weird too? We've already had that talk, Halsey, my love. Don't. Don't look at it. So, have you come up with another riddle for me? Yes, I've got one. I'm listening. It's not too hard, is it? No, no. Riddle me this. I fear the sun more than anything, and the mortals have been fighting me since forever. If they catch me, they keep me in a box. Who am I? That's an easy one. It's death. The vessels put it in a box, in the dark. You were overthinking it, Mom. That's not it. Overthinking? Really? You are a clever girl. Hmm. Not death, then. It's the cold. It's kept in the fridge, and the vessels don't like it. <laughs> That's a pretty good one, don't you think? Oh, wow. You were so right. I was way off. Palsy schoolers, one more point. And zero for mom. But I haven't said my last word. I'm not giving up. Are you feeling funny too? Are you... hungry? I'm almost done, okay? Let's just keep playing. Ugh, the hunger. It's too strong. Damn it! Kylie was supposed to speak. <laughs> or rather, flatter Hazel. A cigar. A pouch stained with wine. Kamiko Izanami. Now I remember. She turns vessels into marionettes during parties. Ugh. 
lavender soap. Huh, a cotton towel that smells like lavender soap and wine. Someone must have tried to mop up a stain with it. Can someone come and bag a briefcase in the kitchen? A briefcase? Shit out of luck. I'm out of large size evidence bags. We got back up on the way. They'll have some. Oh, this much carnage. What do we have here? Tons of evidence. Do you know if the team from Forensics LPU has shown up yet? No, I don't. I need them to process the briefcase I found. And the invoice that was with it. An invoice? Yeah. For some glass tubes. Address to some warehouse over on Seller Street. Shit. There's a red salon in that district. We've got to hand it all over to the feds. I can do it. I already gave them the address. They'll probably send a team to investigate when they're done here. I've got to warn Hazel. You can't come through here. Sorry. I haven't finished collecting evidence. The wall was literally blown apart. No trace of explosives. One of ours must have gone through it. Maybe trying to escape? so many people. Got any room left in there? A briefcase. What is it? It's a small suitcase. We put important papers in, Pumpkin. There's a name engraved on it. More. That rings a bell. Hmm. One handcuff is still attached. After the... There should be a body here. There's a coat on the ground. Pinot Noir. I think I used to like this wine. A vessel. Dead. A second handcuff. Broken, just like the other one.
Go on. Our hands on deck can't hurt. Please, please. What's happening? What's happening to you? Mom. Yes? Come on, please. I'm gonna be here a while. Sorry, I've got myself knee-deep in something I have to finish first. Where are you taking me, Pumpkin? I told you I'd be a big girl, but it's really hard. I really don't feel good. Not even a tiny bit. It's all this blood. Me either, Pumpkin. It's not easy. <sighs> Let's take a little time out then. Weren't you supposed to be coming up with a riddle for me? Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm ready. I'm listening. Okay, but it's the last one, all right? Cross my heart, Pumpkin. So, riddle me this. If the child of Hazel Iverson is the sire of my child, who am I to Hazel Iverson? Hmm. If you embrace Hazel Iverson's child, you'd create a blood bond with that kindred and- But mom, you know you can't embrace a kindred. If you could, then you'd have lots of sires. <laughs> That's right. Your riddles are tough, Pumpkin. Now tell me already. Easy peasy. The sire of my child can only be me. Of course. I get it now. And so, if Hazel Iverson is my sire, then I am her child. I would have never figured it out. I'm all out of ideas, Mom. There's too much blood everywhere. Yes, I, I know. And also, I mean, Mom, I don't want to see Richard. You can stay outside if you want. I'll hurry up. I guess. We've got to hang in there. I don't want to disappoint Hazel. Come on. I have to find Richard. Hey there. Perfect timing. You the explosives expert I called in for? No, no, I just got here. I'm back up. I'm here to gather ballistics evidence. Good luck with that. Why is that? I have no clue as to what went down here, but bullets were on the menu. Shots fired in all directions. And it looks like your basic 9mm is no longer in style. Huh, how's that? See for yourself. Some of the impacts left holes as big as my fist. Okay, I'll give you a hand when I'm done here. Let me brief you on the zone we're clearing now. We've got a stiff in the room on the right. Looks like he died from blunt force trauma. Anyway, we've got orders to pack them up as is for the feds. Don't bother with the report. They're taking care of everything. All right, then. In the room on the left, there's a corpse we need to analyze. But I'm warning you, it's a real mess. The people who did this are crazy. It's all priority, just check the boxes. I'll get started immediately. Oh, I can't even Shit. Richard. They sure did a number on you.
They're here. They found us. Before I knew it hit me, I had a stake in my heart. I've never seen anything like it. These mortals aren't afraid of us. Shh, gentle. You shouldn't be here. You should be at the Institute. Calm down. What happened here? The mortals who are here? It's the Second Inquisition. <sighs> what makes you say that? Are, are you sure? Yes, there's even a man of the cloth in charge of them. Monsignor Stanford. They mowed us down like so many blades of grass. All of us. So, they found us. We have to go warn the others. Wait. There might still be kindred here. We can't leave them behind. This is insane. It's irresponsible. The prince asked me to find Miley. But I need your help. Miley? Well, now I understand. The prince had you released against my orders, and she sent you here. And you'd rather obey her? She's using you. There's no way I'll help. Ask her for help since you're here for her. And what about you? What were you doing here? Excuse me, I don't understand. I came to present my vessels to the Hartford Envoy. They're part of the Prince's agreement. So you obey the Prince too, sometimes? It wasn't an order. It was the crowning achievement of my years of research. Some things are beyond you. It's obvious that Hazel is manipulating you. She cares about me. I don't see why it's an issue. Does she care about you? Or about your premonitions? That argument doesn't hold water. Hazel's not the first person to take an interest in our gifts. Princes have always sought glimpses of tomorrow to better rule their domains. Take Quentin King, for example. Yes, I know. She wants to separate you from me, I'm sure of it. What has she been telling you about me? She believes that Halsey should be under my care. Proof of point. And that I alone should decide what's best for her. Don't tell me. She's here with you. Of course she's with me. I couldn't just leave her. Oh, this is just getting better and better. Aren't you ever gonna heed my advice? I have to finish up here. To look for Miley, I heard. Do you want to end up like all the others? Shredded to bits on the balcony? Don't take it that way. Then all is well. I'll leave you to it. I'm going to have a word with Iverson. Wait. I have to tell you something. They have the address of the Red Salon on Cellar Street. So, there's going to be a second attack. I would weigh those words. And I advise you to watch your step. I can find Miley without him. And Hazel will congratulate us. A reinforced container that locks from the outside. Not commonly used to store mortal bodies. There's been blood in this glass. I never understood wasting vessels like that. Sake. There's no doubt about it. This is for us.
A cigar. Barely smoked. That's where it was stubbed out. Huh. I've already seen this brand here. Sorry. Only special agents are allowed in this area. Watch where you're putting your feet. Finally, the Calvary. Thanks for coming. <sighs> it's a good turn if I can take a look around here alone to myself. There should be a body here. There's a coat on the ground. Torn off. Oh, Jara could have done that. Torn off. Oh, Jara could have done that. Looks like someone's missing an arm. Not a room was spared. Some sort of whip, with blood on it. Wet clothes. They took him for dead. He's barely breathing. That's a knife wound. <laughs> Bringing a knife to a gunfight? This one's missing fingers. It's the reference of the container that was here. A vial of some sort of chemical. Fibrino Genodyne BB. Sunrise Group London. That vial must have been screwed onto something. It must have been screwed onto an injection gun. And the Fibrogen. That's an improved coagulant. I've heard that if it's used on one of our kind, it can keep us from regenerating. Or even using our powers. A real nasty concoction. Heck, was prepared. I think these golden tubes are so pretty, don't you? Uh, well, Pumpkin, that's one way of seeing them. 
Sorry. Only special agents are allowed in this area. Go right ahead. Here we go. I wonder what's hiding here. Stanford was right. We brought down some high-value targets. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Your clock is ticking down. Don't touch those papers. Shit. There are names on these files. I'd better get him out of here so I can take a look. Don't bother with that. Those are Stanford's files. He brings paperwork on a job like this? Yes. So his novice can record whether they were captured or exterminated. Oh, if they have intel on us, I have to find out what they know. His novice is busy, and... Uh... Agent Olsen's got a lot to do. But he's handling it himself. I needed to see him anyway. I'll just take them to him. Don't bother. He'll pick them up on the way to see Stanford. Slipped my mind. Sorry. Organs. Are they cutting us up into pieces? Something to dip someone into. Must be for the kind. Sorry, I don't have the time. They showed no mercy. They burned both juice bags and kindred alike. They also suffered losses. This one's missing an arm. The one I found in the bathroom, I'm guessing. S.A.D. At least, I can put a name on the attackers. S.A.D. At least, I can put a name on the attackers. From the looks of their gear, they knew what they were getting into. It looks like armor. seeing this right they're collecting us dust they didn't just kill neonates i wonder who that was bones probably a neonate rotting flesh that kindred have been embraced recently They're collecting us, I can't believe it! Medical supplies?
They're collecting us. I can't believe it. Hey, you! Come give me a hand. We have specimens to move. Uh, here are the containers Richard told me about. It's so pretty. Yes, but do be careful, Pumpkin. Which one do you want to take down? I'm taking this one. You get that down? Yep. Got it. Let's go, Sugar Fangs. Quick steps. Is everything okay, Mom? Yes. Yes, Pumpkin. Come on. Uh, see you later. I hope it's Miley.